Hello everyone and welcome to the third video of lecture series on SAM file format. This video is in continuation to the second video on SAM file format. Therefore, I request viewer to watch the lecture 2 on SAM file format before continuing with this video. Let us now discuss the line starting with at the rate SQ in header section of the SAM file format. The second type of line in header section of a SAM file is a line starting with at the rate SQ character. The SQ line of the header section describes the reference sequence on which the read sequences are aligned. This column here represents the tags which are present in a given SQ line. The SN and AN tags are mandatory, that means if the SQ line is present, SN and LN tags must be present. The value for the SN tag is the reference sequence name. The value for the LN tag is the length of the reference sequence. The value for the AH tag indicates that the sequence is an alternate locus. The value for the AN tag is alternate reference sequence name if it is defined. The value for the AS tag is the genome assembly identifier. The value for the DS tag descri describes the reference sequence. The value for the M5 tag is the MD5 checksum of the sequence. The value for the SP tag is the species name. The value for the TP tag is the molecular topology. The TP tag can have a value linear or circular. In case of chromosome, the value will be linear and in case of a mitochondrial chromosome, a mitochondrial sequence, it, it will be circular. Value for the UR tag is the URL for the reference sequence from where a reference sequence can be downloaded. This value may start with one of the standard protocol that is HTTP or FTP and if it does not start with one of these protocols. It is assumed to be file system path. Now let us examine our example SAM file for the information stored in the SQ line. In our example SAM file, as we can see, there are multiple SQ lines. This is because there were multiple reference sequence on which the read sequences were aligned. To be exactly, there were 22 autosomes and for each of autosomes there was a reference sequence file. Then there was the X chromosome for which there was a reference sequence and then the reference sequence for the Y chromosome. In this example, mitochondrial chromosomes were also used as a reference sequence to align read sequences. In addition to this, there were several other sequences which has been used in this example as a reference sequence. The S and tag value is 1 for this particular line indicating the name of the reference sequence is 1 representing the first chromosome. The S and value for this particular line is 2 indicating the name of the reference sequence is 2 representing the second chromosome. The value of the tag ln represents the length of the first chromosome, first reference chromosome. Similarly, the value of the ln tag in this line represents the length of the second chromosome and so on. The value of the as tag describes that the NCBI build 37 was used uh, while downloading these reference sequences. The value of the UR tag describes the URL or the FTP address from where the reference sequence for the first chromosome can be downloaded. Similarly, for the reference sequence for the second chromosome can be downloaded from this particular web link. The value of the M5 tag describes the MD5 checksum for the, for the reference sequence. Here, the, the value of the tag SP is human, that means 
the reference sequence used is derived from the human. The third type of line in header section of the SAM file format is the line starting with at the rate RG character. The line starting with at the rate RG character describes information about the grouping of the reads. The ID tag of the RG line is mandatory. The value of the ID tag represents the read group identifier. The value of the BZ tag represents the barcode sequencing identifying the samples of the library. The value of the CN tag describes the name of the sequencing center producing the reads. The value of the DS tag is the description about the read group. The value of the DT tag in RG line is the date the run was produced. There are other tags also which are present in RG line. For example, the KS tag. The value of the KS tag represents the array of the nucleotide bases that correspond to the key sequence of each reads. The LB tag and the value of the LB tag represents the library. The PI tag and the value of the PI tag represents the predicted median insert size. The PL tag and the value of the PL tag represents the platform or technology used to produce the reads. Now let us examine our example SAM file for the information presented in RG line. Here in our example SAM file, there are three RG lines that represents there has been three groups for the read sequence. The peer tag describes the platform used to generate the read sequence and in, in this case it is Illumina. The LB tag describes the library from which the read sequences were generated. The PI tag describes the median insert site from which the read sequences have been derived. In this ex example SAM file, the median insert size is 482 nucleotide. The SM tag describes the sample from where the read has been originated and in this case all reads that has aligned to the reference are coming from a same sample. The fourth type of line present in header section of a SAM file is the line starting with at the rate PG character. Line starting with at the rate PZ character describes program used to align reads onto the reference sequence. A PZ line would contain ID tag. The value of the ID tag represents the program record identifier. PN tag. The value of the PN tag describes the program name. The value of the CL tag of the PZ line is the command used to generate the alignment. The value of the DS tag is the description about the program. And the value of the VN tag represents the version of the program. Now let us examine our example SAM file for the information contained in PZ line. Here we can see in our example SAM file there are three PG lines. Sorry, there are four PG lines. The ID tag describes the program which is used uh, while aligning read sequences onto the reference. The VN tag represents the version of the program, and CL tag describes the command which is used to align read sequences onto the reference. The PG line shows the GATK programs were used while performing the alignments and the main aligner that was used in this case was the Burrow Wheeler aligner with the version number 0.5.5. That ends our discussion on header section of SAM file format. For discussion on alignment section of SAM file format, please watch lecture 4 of the video series on SAM file format.